I am Dale Callender. I, uh, I'm a counselor and I work for uh, uh, Skylark Children, Families and Youth, formerly Delali Youth Services. I've been at uh, Northern for 19 years. Our school-based program has operated prior to that, probably about since around 1989 in different sort of uh, roles and mannerisms, but it's been a full-time presence for me in the school since 1989. I love my job, I, and I, I, you know, in, in some ways, I've, I'm at a great vantage point um, because you get to a job. There's there is a sense of autonomy here. I mean, you have to be a. I'm a firm believer, and when I interviewed for other positions, not me, but uh, when we looked at hiring for our school-based services, I was part of the interview team. And you could look at the resumes, you could look at their credentials, but I was more intrigued. I want my question. I always ask is, how would you involve yourself in the youth culture or the youth community here at the school? Because I think, it, again, going back to the previous question, if you somehow you involve yourself in the community, I mean, you'll keep yourself busy by kids feeling that they can trust you and they can come in the door, right? So in some ways, I, I'd like to be, the, the biggest thing is I've created an environment, I like to believe I've created an environment that makes it easier for young people or people to ask for help. I think this is a model in terms of our own uh, mental health activities here that, you know, the, the young people will turn into adults. So if we give them the language now, um, when they're adults, uh, they'll already have that, they'll know no common sort of difference. They've always talked about mental health because they've done that since a very young age. Um, 20 years ago, I don't think we did that as effectively. Why do you think other schools don't have positions like you? That's a great question because, I mean, the, the overall uh, aspect of my belief is that every school should have a program or ser support service that works in collaboration with the school, right? Every school in, in, in the city, in the province. Um, I think it's got to do with, uh, I think one of the bigger sort of premises is uh, money, financial. Um, I think uh, in the past we've talked about, you know, where education says great program, however, we don't have any money, someone else can fund it, and Ministry of Community Social Services is a great program, but we don't have the money either. I believe in the premise that, that you know most schools, if not all schools, should be partnering up with more specialized services for the needs of the student. Right. So we know research has indicated, you know, more easily accessible, um, timely services. Uh, not only look at prevention services, but intervention services to deal with the, the young adult population. The barrier is also the you know even though we 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 I've just said about the more common language around mental health, I still don't think even there's been an influx of money and resources, I still don't think it's enough, right? When you think of one, the statistic is one in four, so there's three of us in this room, if we added one more, one in four of us, right, would in, in their lifetime experience some mental health challenge or distortion that's going to impact their lives. Well, then take a class of 30. Yeah, I mean, they should have a curriculum-based um, course on mental health. Uh, as far as I know, and they could they could start it in primary school, right? Um, it's all about I think you have a lot of resources there. It's all about how you look at it. You know, the status quo sometimes you got to shake it up, right? Um, so that's what's the most encouraging I believe in terms of partnerships, and I'm a firm believer in partnerships. But I also know some of the challenges in regards to that.